I am Akhil Shrivastava and I welcome you all in the daily weather briefing of Indian Meteorological Department. Here we will see today that is on 23rd of November how was the weather features during past 24 hours and what we expect in terms of weather in the coming next one week. If we talk about the main weather feature that is the fog conditions which is gripping the northwest and northern parts of the country, we saw that today at 8.30 hours IST dense fog that is visibility uh, between 50 meters to 200 meters was reported in isolated pockets over East Uttar Pradesh and Odisha. In East Uttar Pradesh, Varanasi reported 100 meters of visibility and Odisha in Rao Kela reported 150 meters of visibility. The main highlights of today's briefing is that a low pressure area has uh, formed over East Equatorial Indian Ocean and adjoining Southeast Bay of Bengal. And in association, or we are also expecting a fresh spell of heavy to very heavy rainfall over Tamil Nadu, Puducherry and Karaikal and Kerala and Mahe during 25th to 29th of November. If we talk about the main synoptic features, then the cyclonic circulation uh, which was seen over East Bangladesh, it is persisting and now extends up to 1.5 km mean sea level. There is a western disturbance over Afghanistan and neighborhood in lower atmospheric levels. And also there was a upper air cyclonic circulation over East Equatorial Indian Ocean and adjoining South Andaman and Southeast uh, Bay of Bengal. In influence of this particular cyclone circulation, a low pressure area has formed today morning over East in, uh, Equatorial Indian Ocean and adjoining Southeast Bay of Bengal. We are expecting uh, the uh, its uh, further movement uh, towards west northwest roads and it is likely to intensify into a depression over central parts of South Bay of Bengal around 25th of November. Thereafter, it is likely to move northwestwards towards Tamil Nadu, Sri Lanka coast during subsequent two days. There is a trough from the cyclone circulation associated with low pressure area and it is extending up to uh, Comorin area and lower atmospheric levels. If we talk about the, uh, about the temperature, then we see that the minimum temperature, <coughs> uh, with this minimum temperature, there was no significant change in uh, past 24 hours. They were above normal at asphalt places of Punjab and Northwest Rajasthan, and they were uh, uh, above normal between 1 to 3 degrees centigrade over North Bihar, in asphalt places over Jammu Kashmir, Ladakh, Gilgil Baltistan, Muzaffarabad, Haryana, Chandigarh, Delhi, Uttar Pradesh, Assam and Meghalaya, and West Bengal and Sikkim. They were below normal by 1 to 3 degrees centigrade at a few places over Madhya Pradesh, coastal and North India Karnataka, isolated places over East Rajasthan, Saurashtra and Kutch, Konkan Goa, Madhya Maharashtra, Telangana, Chhattisgarh, South India Karnataka, and near normal over the rest part of the country. If you talk about today's minimum temperature, Temperature, then the lowest temperature was reported at Hisar in Haryana and in Seeker in East Rajasthan that is 8 degrees centigrade at morning uh, hours. If you talk about the warning for next 7 days then we go uh, day by day then for day 1 we are expecting fog conditions, uh, dense fog conditions over Punjab and Haryana at certain places. Apart from that we are expecting heavy rainfall activity over Andaman and Nicobar particularly in the uh, Nicobar Islands for next 2 days that is day 23rd and 24th of November. If you talk about day 3 and day 4 then uh, we are expecting heavy to very heavy rainfall activity over Tamil Nadu, Puducherry and Karaikal and also some isolated heavy rainfall activity over Kerala. For conditions are likely over Himachal Pradesh on day 4 that is on 26th of November. If you talk about 27th and 28th of November, day 5, day 6, we are again expecting heavy to very heavy rainfall activity to over uh, Tamil Nadu, Puducherry, Karaikal and apart from that we are expecting some heavy rainfall activity over uh, Kerala and also some uh, heavy rainfall activity over coastal Andhra Pradesh and Rail Seema. The fog is likely to uh, persist over uh, Himachal Pradesh and it's likely to form over again over Punjab, Haryana, East and West Uttar Pradesh on 27th and 28th of November. If we talk about the 29th, that is the day 7 from now, we are again expecting the fog to continue over Punjab, that is dense fog to continue over Punjab, Haryana, East and West Uttar Pradesh and apart from it, heavy rainfall is likely over the southern parts, that is coastal Andhra Pradesh, Rail Seema, Tamil Nadu, Puducherry, Karaikal and over Kerala. This was the, uh, uh, in addition to this, we are also ex expecting uh, adverse weather in the sea area and fishermen are advised not to venture into the marked areas as you can see in this particular map. This is in association to the expected depression which is likely to form once the uh, low pressure area starts moving west north westward. This is for today. Uh, you can visit for the IMD uh, YouTube channel, website or uh, Twitter handle or X handles for further information. We will meet again tomorrow with similar kind of information. Till then, have a good time. Namaskar. Jai Hind.